Hello everyone! David here from Ames Returns. Our farm is located in the pristine Upper Peninsula of Michigan. My family and I moved here three years ago to start organic vegetable farming. Since then, not only have we had to learn the art of gardening, we've also had extreme environmental changes from year to year to deal with as well. Our first growing season we had to protect our crops from above average cold. Our second growing season we had to protect our crops from above average rain. And last growing season we had to protect our crops from above average heat. All three years we've had extreme storms and winds as high as 70 miles an hour. As we have faced these extreme changes in our weather, we've had to incorporate many different types of crop protection into our farming strategy. This is how we came to develop our food bank. Food bank in this case is an acronym. Food stands for Farming Organic, Orchard Dome. Farming Organic simply means only organic inputs are used to feed our ecosystem. Orchard Dome simply means our dome is perfectly suited to house a variety of dwarf fruit trees, along with plenty of room to grow perennials and annuals alongside the orchard, mimicking the natural forest vegetation layers within a protected environment. Bank stands for Biointensive Agriculture, Natural Kingdom. Biointensive agriculture simply means an organic farming system that focuses on achieving maximum yield from the smallest amount of space, and is particularly effective for backyard gardeners such as myself. Natural Kingdom simply means we are attending a food web or a circle of life. Our food bank combines water and energy harvesting, vermiculture, aquaculture, composting, and biointensive agriculture to create a symbiotic farming ecosystem that is adaptable to any environment. Our food bank protects our ecosystem from extreme weather and allows us to produce fresh healthy food year round. Our greenhouse is built to withstand 90 mile an hour winds, heavy snow loads, golf ball sized hail, torrential rain, frost, extreme cold, extreme heat, harshness of the sun, and even earthquakes. With our method, nature provides all the organic inputs, creating a sustainable farming system. Our food bank is able to harvest all its own water supply by collecting rain from the surface of the dome, diverting the rain down the sloped greenhouse floor pond liner, and into our water bank or our pond for storage. We harvest energy from our solar panel, and we store it in our battery bank, which is used to run our air pump during power outages. We have 16 45-gallon fabric pots around our 10-foot diameter 1,200-gallon pond, and 160 5-gallon nursery pots around the perimeter of our 24-foot diameter steel dome. This equals 210 square feet of drawing space. We irrigate our plants from a water tower sprinkler situated in the center of the pond. This delivers the pond water like rain over the plants on automated watering cycles. About a half hour at dawn, about a half hour at dusk. The pond water is filtered through the growing containers, eventually draining down the slightly sloped greenhouse floor pond liner back into the pond. This filters all of the pond water volume through the growing media once every 24 hours. We use one third sand, one third topsoil, and one third organic compost for our growing medium in our pots. This homemade mix is less than half the cost of store-bought media and provides a safe environment for our ecosystem even when the power fails. We have a recycle bin which we use to feed our red compost worms food waste. Our red compost worms then turn the food waste into free worm castings which we then use to make compost tea which then feeds our plants. After we harvest our vegetables, we empty each container into our cement mixer, add fresh organic compost made on the farm here from leaves and grass, we mix, refill pot, and plant seed or plant seedling. This feeds our soil life or our beneficial bacteria and fungi over the next vegetable cycle. The organic nutrients from the pond water and the worm casting tea will be circulated through the growing containers to provide all the nutrition that is needed to grow over a hundred varieties of healthy organic vegetables. Healthy plants don't require herbicides or pesticides, which reduces our expenses, reduces pollution, and creates healthier food for us and our community. Using the biointensive gardening method, it is possible to average nine pounds of organic produce per square foot per year. Our food bank produces an average of 1,890 pounds of organic veggies and can yield over 250 pounds of organic fish. Our method produces us almost 2,000 pounds of organic food annually for a maintenance cost of $100. 
Our worm casting key ingredients require a 50 pound bag of glacial rock powder and five gallons of organic unsulfured molasses. This equals $100. Our food bank requires less than two hours of work a week to maintain, and the majority of which can be done on the weekends. Our food bank is a portable structure and takes less than 500 square feet, meaning we did not need a building permit to assemble it. We use about half of the produce we grow for selling at market. Our tomato plants and cages yield on average 20 pounds each, which we sell for $4 a pound, bringing in $80 per square foot in revenue. To me, this really is like a bank, in the sense that half of the organic vegetables grown in this space are like our checking account, providing income for our life expenses, and the other half of the organic vegetables are like our savings account, providing our food supply for winter. Our startup investment for purchasing the food bank components was just over $2,600, and if we just grew tomato plants alone in this space, we would have the potential to bring in $16,800 in annual income, averaging over $160 an hour working from home. Folks, our food bank is our home-based business, which actually pays for our home, our grocery store, our pharmacy, our health insurance, our farm water supply, our farm energy supply, and in an emergency such as an earthquake, we we'll provide shelter for my family and I to take refuge in. Using our concept, anyone, anywhere can provide for themselves by harvesting their own water, energy, soil, compost, fertilizer, food, and income from nature. If you're interested in building your own home-based business or food supply, you can find our do-it-yourself food bank post on our Facebook page, Eden's Return. I will leave a link in the description box. Just to give you guys an all-around view, 